Hey guys, welcome back to another one. So last time around we covered doing navigation in AR using the Stardust SDK and we developed a pathfinding system uh, which was a bit complex and to be honest not very customizable. So this time around I want to quickly show you guys how we can integrate Unity's NavMesh components with the Stardust SDK in a demo um, that we can actually use on our maps. So if you're not familiar with the Stardust SDK or what it is, it's a visual positioning tool that takes in pictures of your environment, feeds them through an AI algorithm and produces a point cloud plus a 3D reconstruction of the space that you took the pictures of. Um, and this allows for hyper accurate visual positioning, both indoors and outdoors. So it allows developers to anchor content to a specific location in space and you can do a lot of great stuff, a lot of fun stuff with uh, with the SDK. So let's imagine being able to 3D map a popular statue or a monument or maybe a neighborhood near you um, and being able to leave your digital mark there or even just you know create a navigation experience for other people to, to use and see and learn a little bit more about um, the interest point that you're making there. Okay, cool. So first things first, we're going to need a Unity project. And for that, I recommend you guys to go on our GitHub page and clone the repo. Don't just download the zip file because um, we've had like reports of missing files before. So make sure that you actually clone the repo from GitHub. And that way you're also like using Git and getting yourself like accustomed to using Git, um, which is also like a good practice as well. So next, moving on to the nav mesh components, we're going to need to download them from the package manager. And for this, simply go on uh, the window tab, open up package manager, and you're going to click on the plus button and add package from um, add package by name. Um, and here we're going to copy the package name on the name slot um, and click add. Um, once that's done, it should install. And if you go on a, any object that you have, and an empty object or anything, just uh, click Add Components, and you're going to see that now we have a lot of options in terms of nav mesh. When we write nav mesh on the Add Component, there um, we're going to have a lot more options. Okay, so now we're going to need some kind of reference to the location that we want to do the navigation on. And for this, I'm going to assume that you already mapped the location and that has already reconstructed. And we're going to go on the Stardust dashboard. We're going to log in and we're going to go on our map list and we're going to download either a GLB file of the mesh or we're going to download the deep on cloud. Um, either way, it's fine. Just uh, make sure that you download it and import it to Unity. And once you have that, you're going to be able to push it up to your hierarchy. And here you're going to be able to see the mesh of the location that you mapped. It's pretty simple and it's going to really help us um, have a good idea of where we want to place our navigation prefab and uh, especially like our floor to our uh, guidebot and also just, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So next we just want to create a prefab variant of the navigation prefab. And once we do that, I'll like to rename it straight away so that I have a clue of uh, what exactly this prefab is going to be uh, for. And I also like to put it on a dedicated folder for it, just because when we bake the nav mesh, uh, it's going to create a file and I don't want them to be just spread out through the folder. I want them to be um, on a dedicated folder for themselves. So um, once we do that, I just, uh, I drag it onto the hierarchy and I click on open prefab asset uh, because I want to be able to um, manipulate the whole uh, floor, position, size, all of that. And I don't want to just, uh, have it done on a hierarchy. I want it to affect the, the prefab variant as well. I'm going to position it closer to the statue in this case, and I'm going to start manipulating its size, drag it on one side, drag it on another one. And yeah, I'm just going to push it up. 
then we kind of drag our robot onto a place that is like nearby. It doesn't really matter because um, it's going to be spawned uh, in front of the camera of the user. And also going to drag the target to be closer to the statue in this case. Now we need to create an obstacle so that the guide bot doesn't go through uh, the statue in this case because it's our interest point here. Um, so I'm just going to uh, manipulate it a little bit so it fits the statue really well. Call it obstacle. Now uh, we remove the material so that we have our obstacle see through. Otherwise, when we relocate, it, it's going to be solid and we're not going to be able to see the statue itself. And we're going to hit bake. And as you can see, it creates this nav mesh, this walkable area for our guide bot to navigate on. Um, cool. Now we need to populate our target list and here we're gonna drag our target um, so that the guide bot can calculate like if it's close enough to the target then it shows up our hint panel um, saying that we have uh, arrived and yeah, just showing up a little message about the location of our target. And here we can write a golden statue in Praça do Município, which is a square in Lisbon. Cool. Also, we need to populate our map UUID, and this is like a unique identifier for each map. So you can get this from your Stardust uh, dashboard and just go on the map that you want and copy over the map ID and you just place it on the map UUID um, variable here. And yeah, that should be it for our nav prefab. And we can now leave this. Cool. Now all we gotta do really is apply the same logic to all of our other maps if we have more than one. So in this case I'm literally just gonna you know manipulate the uh, floor, also populate the target list and copy the UUID and just follow all the same steps uh, for any other maps. Okay, cool. So last but not least, we have to create a nav uh, pre mesh prefab parent container. Um, this is going to uh, basically hold all of our nav mesh prefabs for each of our maps. This way we don't have to like make a build for each map um, that we're trying to relocate on and have this uh, navigation demo on. So um, we're going to create an empty object. We're going to push all of our uh, nav mesh prefabs inside it. And once we're done, we're just going to drag it onto the asset folder and this is going to be turned into a prefab, which we're going to copy the reference to the content prefab on our map relocation manager. So that when we relocate, it uh, instantiates this prefab. And then inside uh, the logic will then define which um, navigation prefabs it should have on or off based on our UUID, as you can see here. Make sure that all of our objects have a nav uh, mesh data and also that they all have UUID. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to have to rebuild and um, we don't really want that. So looking into the code, this is the relocation demo um, script. 
and on map selected so when we choose from the drop down list it will um, iterate through all of the navigation prefabs inside this container that we just created and it's going to try and get the nav mesh controller component so that we have access to the map uid and if it matches with the current map that we just selected from the drop down list then it sets it sets it active to uh, true also before we build uh, last thing we need to do is actually uh, use our unique developer token and for that we go onto the dashboard onto the settings and we have to copy it and then paste it on the status uh, components this is basically our api key and yeah it's unique to uh, each user cool so last thing that we need to do is build our uh, demo and go on, to, on the streets and try and relocate on our maps that we created and yeah we're going to be able to see our little guy bot approach our target that we chose and it's going to tell us a, a little hint about each location that we're relocating in really cool stuff can't wait to see what you guys do for your demos um and yeah keep augmented the world guys have a nice one